I just want to let you know that I've worked in the emergency department for many, many years now, so I assure you I see these kinds of cases all the time. I'm just so embarrassed. There's no need to be embarrassed. And I swear I'm not lying. I accidentally sat on it. That's all. Of course you did. Why don't I go ahead and see if I can dislodge that for you, okay? Nurse? Nurse? Yes? I was just wondering if this was a hospital where people actually care about your well-being or if it's just a hellhole where I pay my tax dollars to sit in a bed and have everyone ignore me. I'm just with another patient right now. I'll be with you in a moment. Do you know how long I've been waiting? About 20 minutes. 25 minutes! Do you not see this texture on my face? Are you actually going to do something about this or are you going to keep having a damn chat while you're meant to be helping me? I'll be with you in just a moment. Typical. See, this is what's wrong with the healthcare system. No one actually cares about patients anymore. It's all about making a dollar for you people. The person you're with better be dying because I really don't see why no one is acknowledging that this texter situation is becoming more and more critical the longer you leave me here. My four-year-old son could prioritise better than you people and incidentally is also the one responsible for the texter thing. But that's neither here nor there. I had to rush myself to emergency without time for a morning coffee or to make myself look decent. Is anybody even listening to me? Alright, I'm done in there. I'm just gonna wash my hands and I'll be back with some supplies to help remove that texter, okay? Yeah, right. That's code for going for a cuppa and a ciggy break. I believe it when I see it. I'll be right back. While you're waiting, why don't you run a brush through your hair? Thanks. That's the first decent thing you've done today. Keep it up and I might not write a sternly worded letter to the hospital board. Noted. Oh, I've got knots in the hair.